Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Malaika Mugai. And I'm William Mua. Today is Thursday, March 30th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Senior Ball is coming up on April 8th, and the tickets are $85 each. These tickets can be bought at the student store, and the last day to buy these tickets is next week, Wednesday, April 5th. Make sure you're, on the no, you're not on the no activities list before going. Speaking of ball, speaking of ball, royalty voting is out until tomorrow for our eight royalties that always show the four IMCO words around campus. To vote, you can either go to the Synergy email or scan the QR code on screen. Make sure you vote. Uh, Elk Grove Civic Summer is hosting a two-week seminar course about the local community from June 20th to July 1st and a three-week internship with local public agencies such as the Fire Department, Communications, and Public Affairs from July 11th to July 29th. This is only for current sophomores and juniors. Applications are due April 17th, and for more information, please check your Synergy email. Now let's pass it on over to Angelina and Damon for In the News. And this is your In the News update. The deadliest U.S. school shooting in nearly a year occurred earlier this week in Nashville, Tennessee. It was the 19th school shooting that left at least one person wounded this year. Six people lost their lives on Monday. Three young students, a substitute teacher, the head of the school, and a custodian. The shooter targeted the school in the attack, but police say that they did not specifically target any of the six people. The shooter was killed by two officers at around 10.27 a.m. on the day of the shooting. French President Emmanuel Macron ordered his Prime Minister on Thursday to force through a highly unpopular bill raising the retirement age from 62 to 64 without a vote. Thousands of people gathered at the Place de la Concorde facing the National Assembly and lighting a bonfire. As night fell, police charged the demonstrators in waves to clear the Place. Small groups of those chased away moved through nearby streets in the Sheik neighborhood setting street fires. Similar scenes repeated themselves in numerous other cities, from Rennes to Nantes, in the east to Lyon and the southern port city of Marseille, where shop windows and big fronts were smashed. At Tallahassee Classical School in Florida, where Michelangelo's Statue of David has always been taught and shown to students, the purity of the statue was questioned. The school administration had forgotten to send an email to parents notifying them of what the students were learning about resulting in two parents being upset that they did not receive a letter and one parent complaining that the nudity of the statue was quote-unquote pornographic. A letter of apology was sent out and the principal of the school was given a, an option, resign or be terminated without cause. When the museum that houses the sculpture and the mayor of Florence, Italy took notice of this situation, they welcomed the principal, school board, parents, and student body to come view the purity of the statue in person. On Wednesday afternoon, the Kentucky Senate voted to override Democratic Governor Andy Beshear's veto of Senate Bill 150, and little more than 30 minutes later, the House followed, making it law. The law would prohibit conversations around sexual orientation or gender identity in school, require school districts to forbid trans students from using the bathroom tied to their gender identities, allow teachers to refuse to use a student's preferred pronouns, bans all gender-affirming medical care for trans youth, and requires doctors to detransition minors in their care if they're using any of the restricted treatment options. That's all the news we have for you today. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thank you guys. The Coding and Robotics Pathway is holding a fundraiser during both lunches until April 14th. You'll be able to request a photo to be 3D printed. A small one will cost $3, and a large one will cost $5. The football program is looking for student managers and statisticians for next year's football season. Interviews will be conducted next Wednesday, April 5th and April 12th. If you're interested, please visit Coach Billings' room in HG5 for an application and more details. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Malika Mugai. And I'm Malaya Mua. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Pencil, Pencil Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.